Hey, on today's video, we're going to do load stick versus ride height. Okay, what does it mean? We got load numbers now. We got them at ride height. We got them at three inches. What does it mean to have a load number? And how does it compare to a ride height? That's on today's video when we come back. Okay, on this video, we're going to talk about load numbers. Okay, what do they mean? Why do we have them? And what are we doing with them? Okay, load numbers are a convenience, but it, it is a uh, built, you know, it's kind of built from having a tool. Okay, it wasn't built by design. We made this tool and then we started coming up with different ways of using it. Okay, a load stick generates a number. And that number we call our wheel load. Okay, whether it's at right height, one inch, two inch, three inch, we just consider it to be a wheel load, okay? Which is incorrect. It's a number. And at right, we're gonna talk about at right height, okay? At right height, we're gonna say on the right front, we got a 450. Now let's use a 550. We've got a 550 in, we're set at 650 pounds of load number. Okay, what's that mean? That means that's how much weight the spring is carrying. Okay, that's not the number that we're looking for. It's the number the device produces. Okay, it's, it's in pounds. So we could, we need a conversion chart for spring rate, poundage, and height. Because what we're doing is we're measuring our height. And our height is... 650 pounds. Okay, so let me cl clarify it. If we put a 550 in and we set it at seven and three quarter inch center bolt to ground, the spring is carrying 650 pounds. Okay, and I feel like you can take 10 guys, put them underneath the car, give them a tape measure, and we're going to have a variance somewhere between a 16th of an inch to maybe even a quarter of an inch. If that's the problem with the tape measure. We have a really slick ride height tool, but it wasn't digital. It's not cool, you know, but it works really well. Put it on that bolt, drop her down, tighten her up, read it. It's, it's really a nice penis. And I think the part number's uh, 9038. I'll put it in a link below. But what I'm saying is, is now we, instead of trying to read this tape measure to a center of a bolt we don't even have marked, we have a load stick and we put it on and we get a pound and we can get it within five pounds or less. Okay, this makes the height very accurate, very accurate. Okay, uh, so, but it's not a poundage number. It's this 650 with that spring puts us at ride height. So this is the ride height version of what we've done. Okay, so back in the day, we had a 650 spring in, and of course, we're kind of talking modified here. We had a 650 spring in. We went out and raced a heat race. It was a little tacky fast. We went out and we turned very good times. Okay, the track completely blew off, and now it's a second and a half slower. So we go over and we put a 500 in, and we put it back to ride height. And what those two springs did was it allowed us to keep the car off the racetrack, but get it down, because we were carrying more speed. We softened the spring because now we're carrying less spring. So we got the car down to the same height. Okay, that's right height and load stick. That's all we're doing. That load stick is creating a number in pounds, 650 pounds. But it's representing a height in inches, seven and three quarters, seven and a half. It's, it's representing a right height. So when you take poundage out, it's not, I mean, 650 pounds and you get down to a 1250, a 1200 pound or 1150 number, that's really not enough load to make the tire hold. And a 450 spring isn't generating enough load to make a tire work. So it's not really the load, it's the number that, of, that the load represents in height. So that's ride height, okay? So now we got this 500 or 550 spring in. And we go out and we travel it three inches and we can keep it off the racetrack. Okay. Well, that produces a number. And that number is 
1,300 pounds, we'll say. You know, we're just using some uh, generic numbers. We'll just say it's 1,250, 1,300 pounds, whatever you want to call it. But we know down there at the three inches, if we're 1,200 pounds, 1,250, we know that'll keep us off the racetrack. So if we're going to put a 450 in, we got to get back to the 1,250. Okay, this is a number down here, but we don't check the number up here. So, and we don't check it against a ride height. So now we're at 1250. So this is the down number side of a load stick. We're down at 1250. If we set our 500 or 450, 500, if we set every spring at 1250, the car will go down to that, that height, but it'll start at a different height. The bigger the spring, the lower the height. Okay. The IMCA guys, stock car guys are all in trouble this year because of the ride heights, because they were using 1,200 pound springs, but they weren't setting them at a ride height. They weren't setting them in there at seven and seven eighths, seven and three quarters. They were setting them in there at six and a half, six inches. So they were just setting down on, they're using a heavy spring, but they're using a different part of it. Doesn't have 3,000 pounds of load in it, has 1,500 pounds of load in it, okay? What's the advantage to that? Well, you're given the given rebound you have in your shock now becomes bigger because your, your number become less. So the rebound you're using or controlling had gotten less. So there is an advantage to knowing these numbers, but understand these numbers are not a number that we have to mysteriously associate to something. They're a number that is associated with a height of the car when you're at that number, okay? Just like we were before, you know? I mean, we would let the car down a little bit. The height of the front of the car and the height of the rear of the car is what's making it turn, not that number. That number is just an indicator to us that it'll stay off the racetrack, that we can race it with this spring at that level and not be into the racetrack. You know, it's just security system. So it's really a number that represents a height. Okay. And we've misused the terminology and we've misused the functionality to get the confusion that we have. That's where we got to today. So a load stick is a great, a great, you know, we sell load stick. Other companies sell load sticks. Um, it's a great tool, but that's what it is. It's a tool and it produces a number that's a represent representation of a height of your race car. That's all it is. So if you have questions or if you need help understanding this better, comment. Comment what your load numbers are, okay? We're going to bring that chart back in, probably put it in a link, you know, in the description so you guys can look at it. And if you look at that chart and notice that the 500 number is jacked up, so it's not building as great as the number as it should, okay? That spring is not messed up. That spring rates well. That's a good spring. But it just didn't produce the numbers that we thought it should produce, okay? And that's one good thing about testing some of this stuff is it gives you a better idea. You know, I thought about trying to build a device that we could test a spring in a control arm and do it, you know, at one inch, two inch, three inch. I mean, we have a test bench back there with a frame on it and everything that we run different tests on. Uh, but kind of thought maybe it'd be neat to do that, uh, you know, to get more realistic numbers of here's this spring and this is what it's going to produce. Okay, so spring rates in your car maybe are not quite as important as they used to be because you can manipulate your height to get to a different, you know, I got a 450, I need a little more rate, I just put some more turns in it, okay? I'm not saying it's the greatest idea ever, but I'm saying this is currently what's going on. Now, you want to make sure your bump's good and your bump above zero, not going to be so good, um, you know, pin a spin a drag link, that whole, that whole thing is just going to make it not as good as it should be. Uh, but if you, I want you to comment, I want you to comment what your load numbers are uh, at right height on your spring. So if you've got a 500, tell us what your load numbers are. Um, 
just so we have a I challenge you guys. So we have a variety of what you guys are getting. Now, if we put 10 load sticks out here from 10 different companies and we utilize them uh, all the same way, we are going to find that we didn't get the same answer. Okay. So you got to understand we are buying, we're doing it. And I believe every other company is doing it. We're buying Chinese load sales and readers for a pretty reasonable price. And we're building the tool out of it. And we're doing that to keep the price down because, you know, a load stick is around 500 bucks. A good load sale is going to cost you more than that. You know, so we're using cheap. They're, 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 um, they're guaranteed to a standard, but I guarantee you that they don't repeat. Put 10 of them out here, you're going to get 10 different answers. So. You're not giving up your secrets by saying, I'm 658, I'm 700, I'm whatever, right front, left front. You're just giving some people, you're helping people. You're giving some people some ideas of what a spring will produce, okay? So I think we will do a video here in the future where we'll test um, different springs, an IBOC. And if anybody wants to send us some springs to test, feel free to. Test an IBOC, test a, uh, an AFCO, test a, a Hyperco, test a BSV, test a Landrum, test whatever, you know, uh, we'll get some springs, but we're going to all do the same rate, you know, and it needs, if you want to, if, you, if, if other companies or other people that are interested want to contribute, send us a 500 and we'll test a 500 at different, different brands at one inch. You know, we'll set them at 600. We'll touch them at one inch, two inch, and three inch. We'll test them in our test fixture that's using a standard Chevelle lower. We'll see how they rate out. We'll do a video on it. So if you guys got ideas or uh, comments, comment. Like and share our videos. Help us grow our channel by, by hitting the share button and the subscribe. Subscribe to our channel. Uh, we're slowly getting there. I, I want to get to uh, 3,000 before we start the race season. So help us out. Hit that button. Uh, like our stuff. Comment. Help us grow.